Today we're gonna look at a little wrinkle in the 2-3 zone. This is 2-3 blitz. Um, <clears throat> you can run this just as a kind of trapping situation of your 2-3 zone if things start to get stagnant. So you'll see here, we're black teams in a typical, you know, three out, two in alignment. Let's have one dribble it up. And as soon as one crosses half court, right, these two top guards are going to blitz and try and trap the ball, right? Trying to keep it over here, not allow uh, one to get through here like this, but just kind of containing right here, all right? So that's how we kind of start. All right, so now, a lot of times you'll catch the defense off guard, they just won't be ready for this. Um, the obvious passes here for one are to two or to three. So if one tries to make this, and this is where the other uh, forwards are gonna cheat, right? They're gonna cheat up here, cheat up here, and take those away. So if one tries to throw those a three, this guy's gonna try to make that steal. If one throws a two, this player's gonna make that steal. Now, obviously that means that these two guys are uh, open on the bottom. Let's take a look at that. So here's where we are, okay? Um, you've got these two guys taking, or these two players taking away these, the obvious passes. So the next thing that could happen is one could throw the four, one could throw the five, right? That's where this player kind of plays both. Okay, that's a difficult pass to make when you're being put under pressure, all right? So one is gonna make a pass um, somewhere here. And if these, if these guys can contain right here, this is a nice little wrinkle to set something up for you because if they don't know it's coming, they can't get into positive locations to make the pass out of this track easy, all right? That's a two, three blitz. Do it out of timeout. Do it when things are stagnant in your zone. Do it as a mix up.